Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be installing the Omni TV wall mount. It is a fully extendable mounting system for your TV. It will hold from a 43 inch to an 80 inch TV, up to 120 pounds. It does have a 4.3 inch profile from the wall. And with this uh, wall mount, you can swivel left to right, and you can also pull it away from the wall 25 inches. Now in my room, I have my uh, futon over here, my bed over here. So I need to be able to pull it away from the wall, swivel it left, swivel it right. Did I get that right? No, swivel it right, swivel it left. <laughs> anyway, with that said, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I also purchased from eBay this uh, mounting bracket. It is for the sound bar. You can either mount the sound bar to the top of the TV or you can suspend it from underneath the TV. I will, I will be using this bracket to suspend it underneath the TV because right now my sound bar is sitting on top of this uh, swivel that I have. And since my TV is going to be mounted to the wall, the sound bar needs to be mounted to the bottom of the TV. So now I'm going to show you what's in the box. All right, take one last drink. Actually, it won't be my last. I'm not an alcoholic. I just like to drink beer. So anyway, let me show you what's in the box. You have the template, instruction manual, four extender bars. You have a, uh, a little mini level. No, not a level. It's um, a stud finder. Comes with uh, two end cap pieces. And you also have sorted screws for mounting to wood or to stucco or concrete. So here we have the actual mount. This thing is really heavy duty. You can hang a, a 43 inch to 80 inch big screen on this up to 120 pounds and it will extend up to 25 inches from the wall. There we go. Put this back in there. And now we're going to get started with uh, the install. First thing I have to do is to remove all this and then I'll show you how to mount the Omni wall mount to the wall using the supplied stud finder, which is this one here. I do have a Black & Decker stud finder here, so we'll see which one is more accurate. As you can see, it's all down. The tools you will need are, for my particular install, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a drive ratchet, a 14 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a wood drill bit, size 732, a hammer, the supplied stud finder. You can use your own stud finder if you'd like a tape measure, a pencil, and a level. So grab your template. They do have this little fold out ledge right here. Kind of sucks. I'm not going to use that. There is a hole which indicates the center of the TV. Nice seeing you in these parts. Uh, Jibo, would you mind? <laughs> it's my little Jibo robot. Always interrupts me at the wrong time. Anyway, so here is the center of the TV right here. I did mark on the wall where I want the center of the TV to be. So the best way to do it is to put the hole over the X and just do a little mark up here where you, uh, where you want the top of this uh, template to be. You're gonna take your level and put it over that mark. Just like this. And then make a pencil mark all the way across. I couldn't mount the center of the TV where I want it to be on the wall. I had to move it over five and a half inches. It was originally going to be right here. Now I have to go over to here. That's because the studs aren't in the proper spot. But I'm going to show you how the stud finder found the studs. Here's the stud finder that came with the Omni kit. A 
That's one edge of the stud. And there's the other edge. Now, see they have two studs too close together. So we'll take my, my stud finder. There's one edge. And the other edge. Now watch this. See they have a stud here and a stud here. And then there's another stud way over here. So as you can see, both stud finders work great, but of course, this is the better one. So now on the back of this template, there is uh, some tape. You need to pull off the protective backing. And now the top of this, uh, top of this template is gonna go right on that, uh, that line that you, uh, that you drew with the level. And I don't know if you can see it, but in between these holes, there is a, a mark. That's where the center of the stud should be on each of these, or at least pretty close to it. That's it for that part. These slots that are in the template correspond with the slots on the back of the Omni mount. So I have one stud here and one over here and of course one right here. I'm just going to use the four outer ones. So in the middle of this slot I'm going to put a pencil mark there, put one there. I already checked the stud does run straight down. So I'm going to go ahead and put a mark on that one and a mark on this one. And remember, this is the center of the TV. I did want it over here, but like I said, it really doesn't matter because it is a swivel mount, so I can move it left or right. And you will need a drill. Let me go ahead and drill the four holes. Now for the next step. Here's the Omni mount with the arms fully extended. What you need to do now is to remove this backing plate which mounts to the back of the TV. There are two screws down here that require a four millimeter hex key and that hex key does come in your parts bag but I prefer to use a four millimeter hex socket. I already unloosened uh, these screws so I'm just gonna finish unscrewing them by hand. And this is all you do, you just lift it up. So what it is, this backing plate is gonna to mount to the back of the TV, and then when you're ready to hang it, it just goes right on there. Those two screws go back in, and then you will be able to tilt the TV. You'll have it perfectly flat against the wall, or you can tilt it downwards for better viewing. So now what you're gonna do is grab the Omni mount. We're gonna Close it back up. And now let's get ready to put this thing on the wall.
The Omni mount is mounted to the wall. Four wood screws in each corner. Those screws are 60 millimeters long. So the conversion from Google said it was 2.362 inches. Yeah, and it was pretty tough. So just make sure that you uh, drill the hole deep enough because you don't want to split the wood. And the great thing about this Omni mount comes away from the wall, swivels to the left, swivels to the right, and it also has a tilting feature. So instead of having the TV straight up and down, you can have it on an angle. Now, what I'm going to do, so this is the backing plate that goes on the back of the TV. So after you get it mounted to the back of the TV, all you do is you hang it right here. And there are two very small screws that go on the back to hold it in place. Here's the mounting plate that mounts on the back of the TV that attaches to the Omni wall mount unit. There are four Sony screws inside these holes here in the back of the TV. You need to remove them. Save two for the top. You will be using a longer screw from the Omni kit. And with Sony, since you're going to be mounting it to a bracket, they give you these, they give you four of these special uh, nut bolt adapters that go in that same hole where you took out the four Sony bolts. And you screw this in nice and tight with a flat head screwdriver. Then you're going to take the extender bar, line it up. Use the screws that are supplied with the Omni kit. And then you're going to take a four millimeter socket and screw that in. But in the meantime, I have two brackets here that are for the sound bar. That was a kit that I ordered from eBay. So you will be using a longer screw to go from the top of the bracket into that uh, Sony specialty bolt. And just screw that in. You don't have to have this lined up perfectly right now because you still will be able to uh, adjust it a little bit. But we need to get these two tightened and I'll be right back. And how it works is like I said, you have to use the longer screw because these brackets are sitting on top of the Omni brackets. And then what you would do, you would screw them in. They still have a little bit of room to um, adjust right here. But basically what it is, is this bar comes in two pieces. It mounts together with this mounting plate. And of course it would be on this side, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like on this side. You would mount these two brackets to the back of your sound bar. And then when you're ready to put your sound bar on, just uh, sit it right on there and plug it in and that's it. And of course you can adjust your sound bar left to right to line it up. What you're gonna wanna do right now is go ahead and double check all your, uh, your screws, make sure they're all nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up by myself. And I hope I don't drop it.
Okay. I recommend having someone help you hang it. I did get it on there, but uh, it was uh, pretty awkward. But anyway, it's on there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, screw those two screws in the back on the mounting plate. And that's it. And here's the two uh, suspending brackets for the sound bar. I got the TV all mounted. Just have to finish up the screws on this um, unho soundbar bracket. I already got the brackets on the Sony soundbar. And it just hangs just like that. Piece of cake. But it did take me all day to film. <laughs> I started at nine and it is 5.55. So now all I have to do is to um, hook up the power cords and all the cables for all of my uh, all my stuff. Now I'll show you how easy it is to push it back against the wall. Just like that. And then of course I'm just going to leave it out all the way out. Now if I want to watch TV in my bed I just turn it that way. If I want to watch TV on the futon, turn it that way. Of course, I'll have to move that. Uh, I have to get this out of the way. But anyway, you get the gist of it. There we go. Nice. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the stuff that I had bought to make this video with. The Omni wall mount is from Sam's Club. It was $119.99. It is still available, but only on um, samsclub.com. The TV is a 55-inch Sony Bravia. I bought it from Best Buy for $699. This uh, soundbar is a Sony soundbar. I bought it from Amazon for $299. And of course, the Hun Ho. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hun Ho soundbar bracket was from eBay for $27.99. So, Merry Christmas to myself. <laughs> Gotta treat yourself sometimes, right? That's what we work for. <laughs> so here is the back of the TV. Just to give you an idea how easy it moves. I'm just doing this with one hand. And as you can see, here's the bracket on the wall. Totally secure. TV is all hooked up As and it's looking good. <laughs> Who is that guy? Anyway, I want to show you guys something real quick. I did years. find these uh, little uh, and, um, um, grab holds right here that, that you can put your fingers in uh, to move the TV uh, around so you're not uh, touching the screen at all. Man, hundreds nice hundreds TV. Of, uh, well, that's a wrap up on another how-to video with Paul Henderson. This one was the installation of the Omni wall mount and the Sony TV, the Hun Ho bracket for my soundbar and the Sony soundbar. That was a lot of stuff to do in one day, but I got it done. And if you like this video, hit like, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. Thanks again for watching. And like I always say at the end of my videos, like all my other videos, there will be some bloopers at the end. And this time I didn't say one cuss word. Proud of myself on that. Anyway, that's it. Enjoy your day and um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. And uh, I'm hoping 2020 is going to be a lot better than 2019. That's it. Have a good day.
Test one, test two, test three. Test one, test two, test three. I'm gonna put my baseball cap on. Having a bad hair day. So, I don't wanna show it. Be right back. Test one, test two, test three. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be installing the Omni Mount. <laughs> Forgot, one more time. It will extend from the wall 25 inches, swivel left and right, and um, nah. <laughs> Dang it. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be installing the Omni TV wall mount. TV wall mount. Yeah, I got that right. <laughs> Damn, why did I look? I gotta do it over. I also purchased from eBay a soundbar hanging bracket that will hang on. <laughs> hang on. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You can either uh, use this bracket here to mount the TV. No, to mount to. <laughs> Not for mounting the TV, dumbass. Before I get started, one last drink. No, <laughs> there's gonna be more. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set it over here, get it out of the way. And uh, no, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I just, uh, <laughs> I like to drink beer. This thing is heavy duty. And like I said, you can um, hang a 120, up, up to 120 pound. <laughs> you can hang up to a 120 pound turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. You can hang up to a 120 pound TV on this thing up to an 80 inch. So you can hang a, a 43 inch to an 80 inch, 120 pound. <laughs> Dang it. First thing I have to do is to remove this and then I'll show you how to mount the Omni wall mount to the TV using the supplied stud finder. But, uh, Really? We don't need a stud finder because here's one right here. Um, that probably doesn't really sound right, does it? <laughs> I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the products that I had bought to use in, to make this uh, <laughs> use. I didn't, I'm not using it. I'm, I'm making the, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I bought me a new TV. Jeez, <laughs> why can't I get that right? I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the items that I had purchased to Install. Ah, I don't understand. I, don't, I can't figure out how to say it. Damn. Well, that's a wrap up in another how to video with Paul Henderson. This one was the installation of the Omni wall mount. Hope I get this in two takes. That was a lot of stuff to do in one day, but I got it all done. If you like this video, hit like, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notices as new videos come out. And I'm already messed that one up. <laughs>